Okay, okay, definitely. I already have. Let me tell you, um, Kazuya has. It is very interesting, and I actually kind of like um, Kazuya as a character. He's probably the most kind of really like the most reflective of an actual fighting game <laughs> than the other fighties themselves. Both of them, you know, they have very um, just, you know, like kind of a few things that they have. But what kind of separates Kazuya is for the fact that his combos are more of like what you would see when you are comboing in an actual fighting game itself. Mm -hmm. Very nice just trying to throw that out so they can kind of get a little bit of more damage. Yep, and looking at it right now, um, King Ark putting in a lot of damage over here. I was actually seeing Dark Blues play a little bit of the neutral in friendlies before the tournament had started. Uh, very difficult for Kazuya to sort of deal with Mega Man's mid-range, keep away sort of deal. Uh, Kazuya does have the reflector on deck and he does have some good ways to get in through his crouch dash, but it is difficult to close the gap sometimes with his movement speed and his normals have good range but they're not fantastic especially against someone with range and disjoints like Mega Man. Yes absolutely that's the only other thing that kind of separates Kazuya from other fighties is that he is kind of slow so he has to be even more um, slow when it kind of comes to just playing neutral. You know other characters you have kind of burst options like Terry has um, flip kick, I, not flip kick I'm sorry um, but he definitely has a lot of burst options. Mm -hmm. Definitely a little bit harder for um, Kazi to get in since he is very slow. Um, those burst options aren't going to be too impactful when you are playing against a zoner. But I definitely love the way that King Ark is taking this. Definitely just not really doing too much because honestly, when you're playing against this character, you can just do however much damage you need to them and yep. they can't really do anything. And, and trying to play a little bit back here so as not to be uh, too deep in the rage. You know, Kazuya with uh, the command grab that's powered up when he's past 100%. You've got the devil form uh, smashes which do a lot of damage. Forward smash kills madderly. Um, and we will see King Ark now take a little bit of extra credit here. Uh, Dark Blue's just trying to find a little bit of a start of an offense, or rather uh, an end of an offense now, reset to neutral by knocking King Ark out. But once again, back at the ledge, that does trade. Kazuya up B does have a hitbox, and that trades there with um, Mega Man Knuckle. So we will make it back on the stage, but he's getting tossed around here. Difficult position to be in, trying to wait out the bomb. Air dodges in. Yes, that neutral. is going to be death. Very, very sad. That was very close um, making that at, um, back to ledge, but um, this is kind of the thing. Um, the thing with Kazuya is that if you don't have a very um, kind of way that you kind of know that you want to kind of approach a specific matchup, then it's going to be very hard for you to actually get in, mm -hmm. which is very nice from King Arc. Just didn't want to approach. He does not have to approach. King Ark can kind of just sit there and be like, hey, you know, I don't actually have to do anything to you. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just going to kind of throw my lemons and just make you kind of approach me. Um, yep. You know, I have the lead, just I'm just going to run with it. And yep, and we do see a lot of uh, additionally, like, playing back with those confirms, uh, fade away forward airs, metal blades, that stuff to keep Kazuya out. Though now we're going to get Kazuya in on this game two on his home turf in the dojo. Yes, so we'll see. but yeah. playing on FD, this is going to provide a lot more um, routes for Kazuya to actually, ooh, to before he dies to actually kind of get in on King Ark. Um, the lack of platforms definitely helps with just kind of creating more of a Tekken-esque fighting zone and very nice tech coming in from Dark Blues. Yep, King Ark remaining patient there. Actually waits for the landing option from Dark Blues and punishes with the Shoryu, but doesn't get the early hit on it, so no kill on that yet. But with 138%, this is still looking in King Ark's favor. Dark Blues got some work to do. Absolutely. I definitely love the way that Dark Blues has actually been using their um, neutral B to actually, um, you know, kind of help recover, but not going to be enough losing that first dog. Mm -hmm. Sending King Ark back off stage. Definitely really love the way that, um, you know, King Ark, honestly, they have just kind of been making so much, like, use, especially when they're in close range, um, to kind of just do the damage that they don't, like they need to and just kind of nullifying a lot of what Kazuya has. Yep, and now we see that it is in Dark Blue's court a little bit here. Taking it back to center stage, King Ark is going a little bit above his head, and Kazuya does have a hard time, uh, at least at this moment, uh, getting into the air to try to challenge that. Ariel's not super big and not with many of the properties that make him really strong on the ground. Chasing him once back forward, a ledge. 
Hey, and there's the laser. You do have to watch for that. Very nice first stock. That's the first stock that we've seen from Dark Blues. Ooh, gonna lose that second stock. Definitely looked like King Arc has been trying to call that out most of the time. Ooh, he's got the electric wind gotchas. There's the meteor. All right. Even though that didn't result in the early percent gimp, that is 40% on the stage there. That's going to be helpful if he's going to make this comeback. But he does have his work cut out for him. All right, gets back onto the stage, working his way forward slowly. Mid stage, now he's pushing King Arc to the other ledge. All right, back once more. King Arc still playing this medium range, trying to push Dark Blues out as well. He does not want him on this stage where all of his strengths can come into play. Gets him on the tech chase. Ledge trap now. Coming back down. Ooh, gets him with the side B. He gets him with too early of a hit on that. He does have a confirm into another move. All right, tries to go for the up smasher there. Reading a roll. Nice. Definitely something I would like to see a lot more coming in from Dark Blues. Would be able to... I, I'm not sure what the name of that side B is called. Um, uh, I don't actually know. Yeah. <laughs> Devil Lunge is what I would go for, but I have no idea. But yeah, definitely have been using that a little bit too poorly. Um, a lot of situations where it's just used to kind of recover, although um, Kazuya does have a hitbox on his up B, so mm -hmm. making it less scary. Um, yep, trying to mix it up here because he doesn't want to eat that hard knuckle and get gimped. Kazuya does have a decent recovery here, but if he gets knocked too far off, it's going to be a problem. And now at 134%, this is doable. Kazuya with Rage is a very scary thing, but this is going to be difficult. Oh, King Ark gives up the stage. That could be a very terrible mistake. All right. Definitely didn't want to get, um, you know, lose stage control there, but had to. Um, King Ark just making sure that Dark Blues doesn't actually have any fun. Ooh. Oh, that's the air dodge. Once more. Yes. Definitely nice try coming in from Dark Blues. Kind of just showing, you know, what Kazuya already struggles with. Mm -hmm. I mean... Like his, yeah, um, he, he didn't seem happy about that. Oh. <laughs> Such as Dark Blues. But yeah.